Little Snuffs Bedtime Love Stories for Kids Hello. What you're hearing right now is a moshy washing machine rumbling gently in the background making things all clean. Allow your mind to now unwind and listen to it spinning. Then snuggle down and close your eyes. We'll start at the beginning. Freddy is a moshling sock, worn and slightly frayed. The strands of thread upon his head have now begun to fade. But Freddy is a happy guy. Despite the wear and tear, though unlike many moshling socks, he's not one of a pair. See, Threddy's never found another sock that fits the bill but clings on to the hope that there's one waiting for him still. He's tried the online dating game. And various things like that. And most nights as a single sock. Hangs round the laundromat. It's not something he dwells upon. He has a lot of friends. From moshlings shaped like pants and socks. To various odds and ends. But this evening's very special. Threddy thinks he has a chance of finding romance at the Moshy Washy Valentine Dance. Freddy's all spruced up 
And now he's heading to the venue. Where lots of sockish fun and games are surely on the menu. See, moshling socks love shimmying and chatting while they mingle, especially at these dances where every sock is single. Freddy is excited as the place is filled with socks. Having fun and making friends. This party really rocks. But as the night continues, Thready cannot find a date. It seems that he is destined to stay lonely at this rate. He chats to several knee-high socks, but they look down on him. And now the last dance beckons as the lights begin to dim. Freddy stands alone, watching socks swoon round in pairs and shrinks into a corner thinking, life is so unfair. Dance is almost over now. So Freddy walks outside, then strolls into the night and thinks, Oh well, at least I tried. But then he sees Another socky moshling in an alley. And the pair of pants she's talking to don't look particularly pally. It seems the pants are hassling her and being impolite. So Freddy yells until the pants run off into the night. The socky moshling nods in thanks, still feeling quite unsteady. No problem, says our hero. 
By the way, my name is Freddy. Freddy can't believe a pair of pants could be so mean. For this washling is the cutest little sock he's ever seen. My name is Matilda. Is her whispered opening line. I know this seems quite bold. But would you be my valentine? You complete me. You complete me. We're a pansy. You complete me. Ah, 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 ah. Freddy and Matilda wander through the streets together. They make a perfect pair, like they've been doing this forever. The moon and stars are shimmering. In velvet skies above, and though they met so recently, they feel like socks in love. Matilda says that she was at the Valentine's dance too. But left when several ankle socks gate crashed with a shoe. She and Threddy hold hands as they laugh and sing and chat. Then Threddy asks her. If she'd like to see his laundry mat, Matilda says she'd love to, as the laundry mat sounds fun, and Moshling socks like nothing more than being washed and spun. They amble down the boulevard and have a dreamy time discussing nice warm sock drawers and bouncy washing lines. And when we dance
alone now in the laundromat. Freddy shows Matilda round. She loves its big top loaders. And their rumbly spinning sound. Freddy finds some spare loose change. Then both of them leap in to a vacant washer dryer for a lovely moonlit spin. Freddy and Matilda dance, splishing as they splosh. But neither of them notices the odd socks in the wash. The spin speeds now on maximum. And Freddy looks around. But it seems he's lost Matilda. She's nowhere to be found. Once the wash is over, Freddy's scrunched into a ball. But the sock that he's been paired with is red and extra small. You're not Matilda, Freddy wails, before he wriggles free. No, I'm not, the red sock says. Look in lost property. Freddy's heart is breaking as he rifles through lost clothes. For socks are known to vanish, to wear no moshy nose. He rummages through everything from pants to vests and shirts, while pondering how sometimes being lonely really hurts. Finally exhausted, Freddy slumps behind a dryer. Then hears a distant voice that's pleading, Look up here, no, higher. He looks up at the tall machine where moshlings buy detergent. 
and hears the voice once more. It's saying, hurry, this is urgent. Freddy climbs the long machine, then gets a fuzzy feeling. Cause Matilda's spinning on a fan, revolving on the ceiling. He stretches out towards the fan, offering his hand and rescues her, thank goodness. She was dangling by a strand. The two socks climb back down and once again they are a pair. But Freddy can't help asking. How did you get up there? Matilda says, I think I must have got jammed in the door. Then flicked up there, but now who cares? I'm not lost anymore. Freddy and Matilda finally leave the laundromat. They want to be together. There is no doubt of that. But socks get lost so easily unless they take great care. And Thready and Matilda make a really perfect pair. Luckily, both of them have several strands of thread. dangling from their bodies and poking out of their heads. So they take their bits of thread and carefully tie themselves together, hoping this might help them stay inseparable forever. Freddy and Matilda wander off into the night, tired but enchanted beneath the pale moonlight. They snuggle in a sock drawer, feeling cozy, warm, and calm. United now, 
by random threads. And this little moshy yarn. Good night. Thanks for your support. Subscribe our channel and click bell icon for regular updates.